What's going on my guys? So I've been getting this impression recently that most people think of minimalists as people that just don't spend money and minimalism as a philosophy that just revolves around not spending money. And that couldn't be farther from the truth. Minimalism is a lifestyle that revolves around getting rid of the things that don't matter so you can focus your time, money, and energy on the things that do matter. And I guess it's been so long that I've gone down this minimalistic journey. I forgot that back then, about a year and a half, two years ago, that I too probably thought of minimalists as people that just decluttered or only owned a backpack and traveled the world. But recently, actually just yesterday, I went over my monthly finances. So I wanna cover in this video the things that I buy, buy more of, and spend quite a bit on as a minimalist. So first off, I spend a lot of money on experiences. For me, this is comedy shows, eating out at nice spots, vacations and little trips, going to concerts. Anytime I'm going out with my friends, my family, I know that we're gonna have a great, awesome time doing something really cool together. It's especially true with concerts right now. I just bought tickets with a friend of mine to see Trippy Red, and I'm trying to get tickets for J. Cole and Lil Baby as well. You know, life goes by extremely fast. So when I look back, I think of all the awesome stuff I've done, not all the cool things that I've had. And you know, thankfully having a lifestyle like minimalism, I have the money available to do all that awesome stuff because I'm not spending it on consuming stuff. The second thing I buy a lot of is plants. Plants are just so cool. They add life and oxygen to your apartment. They come with different shapes, sizes, textures, and different shades of green, blue, and uh, yellow. And it's a lot of fun just taking care of them, watching them grow. And again, they just add so much life to your apartment. Right now, I don't have too many in this apartment because it doesn't get a ton of sunlight. When I move out of here, I'm planning on getting a bonsai tree, just those cool little vinyl ones. They're just really awesome and worth every penny to me. The other thing I spend a pretty big chunk of money on, more than you guys might think, is self-improvement items. Just things like my subscription to Headspace, which is a meditation app, Spotify for podcasts and music. I buy a book every month or so. I have my gym membership, my gym gear, movies. These things give me so much value in return that they're worth every single penny and more. Also, I mentioned movies, by the way. I'm talking about movies that change how I see the world and give me a new perspective. Movies like The Dissident, The Red Pill, Icarus, Spotlight. This, they tell an amazing story, uh, the ones that I tend to watch, and they just give me insights in the world that is just as good as a book. So self-improvement things, I spend a pretty large amount of money on these. And again, it's helping me improve as a person, becoming a better version of myself. So it's worth every penny. Also pets. What's funny is I never had a pet or wanted a pet growing up besides like a couple goldfish. But when my family moved out to a new house about a year ago, me and my sister asked my mom for a cat. My mom said no, and we brought a cat anyway. And my mom fell in love with her, but her name's Jeannie, and she's brought me and my whole family so much joy and happiness and just love, and we all bond over her. And even like when my family tends to fight a little bit, we can all bond over our cat and it brings us together. So the cost of litter or food, just get out of here. Uh, she just, those are things that like, yeah, I would pay, I don't wanna say any amount of money, but that's such a low price for the amount you get of having a pet in your life. The other thing I spend a lot of money on, especially recently, are my businesses. I started a company about a month ago and I'm working on getting our first product launched. So I spent about 600 bucks 3D printing prototypes, buying competitors' products and basic startup costs. Additionally, with YouTube, this is no longer just a hobby for me. It brings in a sizable chunk of income. So I'm buying some newer, newer camera gear. I wanna upgrade the audio pretty soon. So for me, these businesses, they're hopefully gonna make me money, hopefully gonna make me money in the long run. So to invest more in them now to get higher quality content or better products is worth it to me. I've also recently been spending a good amount of money on food. Now I already eat very healthy. I have no sh added sugar in my diet, no junk food, no chips, none of that. But I've realized I've been eating the exact same food every single day for the past three months. It's the same chicken wings, chicken wraps, eggs, Greek yogurt, turkey bacon. So I want to expand my diet and learn how to cook. So I've been trying out a lot of new recipes, so I have to buy new ingredients, and oftentimes ingredients and what I make does go to waste because it just tastes too bad to even eat. The other day I was making a, trying to make restaurant style quesadillas, and I didn't know that a clove of garlic just meant like a piece of it, not the entire piece of garlic. So I had to like toss out that like a good chunk of that because it was way too garlicky to even eat. But to me, this is like an expense that's worth it because I'm learning how to cook, which is a life skill that can 
transition much later in life. And once I get a few solid recipes down, they'll stay with me for a long time. I also do tend to buy a lot of the, I don't wanna say latest and greatest, but very high quality and expensive technology. I'm a software engineer, former CS student, YouTuber. And because I spend so much time on the computer, I wanna be working with high quality items, whether that's ultra wide monitors or more powerful CPU, speakers, wireless charging docks. You guys get the point. One thing I do not do though, is constantly upgrade that tech every year, every other year. I found that if you buy high quality items, they'll stay with you for at least five or six years, probably even longer than that. You don't need to worry about constantly upgrading them when they start breaking like the cheaper pieces and the older pieces tend to do. I really only upgrade the tech I have when the latest tech gets to a point where it has features that are so beneficial to me, it's worth the upgrade. And in that case, it's probably been a very long time since I have upgraded, I buy the higher quality pieces. And lastly, building on to what I kind of just said in the previous point, I buy high quality items. You know, when you become a minimalist, you save an absurd amount of money, money you didn't even know you had. So when you do go out and choose to buy and consume things, you wanna consume the higher quality things that'll have more benefit in your life. Quality over quantity, essentially. So for example, I started a skincare routine about two months ago and I got the pretty expensive and very small portioned Korean skincare items. Those are like very expensive, especially like their sunscreens, my God. But it was worth it to me because I have so much excess money because I'm not consuming every little thing here and there. And I know a benefit from the higher quality items. And additionally, because they're high quality items, you don't need to constantly upgrade them. This only apply to skincare, but you know, my family, they bought some like extremely expensive rugs like 10 years ago. And to this day, those rugs just look pristine. They're amazing, they're completely intact, nothing's riffling off the sides. And although we paid like three times as much, they lasted us much longer. And a lot of people buy those like cheap Ikea rugs that are gone in two, three years max. So again, just quality over quantity. If I choose to buy something, I wanna buy high quality over low quantity. So that's the video, you guys. Hope it clear up some misconceptions that minimalists don't spend money and minimalism is a philosophy about not spending money. I spend a good amount of money, I guess. Uh, but to me, these items that I mentioned and more, they bring me so much value that they're worth my time, money, and energy. If you guys are new here, my name's Ali. I make videos on self-improvement and tech. So if that interests you, hit subscribe and I'll see you guys next week for the next video.